Good morning. I am Christopher Daniel from Peihua Secondary School. I'm 15 years old and I'm competing for Singapore. I was first introduced to coding and robotics six years ago. Since then, I've had coding experience in three languages and have also coded multiple robots. Some experience I've had prior to this include NRC in 2018 and RoboCup on stage in 2020 and 2021. This year, I'm taking part in Coast Base Rescue First Steps U19. Some problems I faced included the robot taking too long to collect the first few objects. This led to the robot having less time to collect others. It was also difficult to get to the deposit box. This brings me to the strategies I used. These helped me solve the problems and get a higher score. I used the RRGGBB strategy and started off with collecting red. Another strategy I used was that after the robot had collected six objects, I used large turns, which helped me push off the wall and get to the deposit box. I ended up getting 920 points. Solving these problems helped me do better in this preliminary round and get into the finals. One strategy that was extremely useful was the RRGGBB strategy. This is how it works. Collecting objects using RRGGBB means that you collect two of each object based on its color. The benefit of doing this is that when you reach the deposit box, you get an extra 180 points. In order to code this, first you have to code the robot to pick up each color when it detects this. You do this by setting these values to the color values of the objects on the board. By doing this, you can see the color values of the objects over here. I advise coding the robot to detect the object on either side of it, because this way you will collect objects more efficiently. Once you've coded the robot to pick up all the colors, there are a few minor changes to make. Number one, the LED status has to be set to one. And number two, the time for this must be three seconds or above. Three seconds should be enough though. Now for the RRGGBB part. We will collect them in the order of red, then cyan, and then black. To get the robot to pick up colors in a specific order, it should only be able to pick up two red, and only once it's collected two red should it be able to pick up cyan, and then after it's collected two cyan should it be able to pick up two black. You can do this by changing the loaded object's state here. We can set a minimum value for when the robot should pick up red, cyan, and black. Now for red, we want to pick up another red when the object has collected nothing. The reason we set the maximum value to 1 and not 2 is because if the robot can pick up an object when there are two objects, you will get three objects in total. So if we set it to 1, it'll only be able to collect two objects of that color. We can do a similar thing for cyan and black, but instead of 0 and 1 for cyan, we change the values to 2 and 3. And instead of 2 and 3 for black, we change the values to 4 and 5. This way, it collects 2 red first, and then 2 cyan, and finally 2 black. Basically, this is kind of an overview of what the game would look like. Uh, yeah. Okay, so straight off the bat, we have a red. So that's good. Five seconds in, we have a red of the RRGGBB. Within 10 seconds, we have two reds, which is good. In 20 seconds, we got a third, we got one cyan. And in 30 seconds, we got about two. Now, a crazy thing happened, like it just bounced off and we got another two blacks in a row, which is very good. So now we have RRGGBB in a very short time. Now watch what happens here, this is crazy. The distance between the robot and the deposit zone is so close, it literally could have gotten in. Anyway, it zoomed around for a bit and finally got to the deposit box at 3 minutes 30 seconds. So as you can see, the score went from 190 to 460. Okay, so it just went around for a bit. And then... And then, yeah. So it's just been wandering around. I think we may be able to get another red at around 
2 minutes and 40 seconds maybe. But that's the thing. It's okay if it takes quite a while to get our RGGBB because it pays off with the extra 180 points. So there we got two reds, then another two cyan, and another two black. And this brought the time down to one minute and 40 seconds. And now something else even crazier than before happened. It went even closer. There was literally one color sensor in the box. That was, that was crazy. Anyway, it deposited, and so now we have 900 points, because the extra 180. Then we got another two reds, and we ended up with 920 points. In the real world, there are so many problems that robots have helped us solve. One example of this is using drones to fly in emergency supplies during war. Drones are flown into these areas because it is efficient and safer than flying in another human. Due to this competition, I've learned about sensing colors from items, collecting them, finding deposit areas, and avoiding obstacles. All these can be used to help drones do a better job at delivering supplies. Sensing colors can let the drone know what type of terrain it is on. They can sense the color of the terrain beneath them and know whether there is safe land for them to land on. Collecting items can be used to collect supplies from one place, and depositing items can be used to deposit the supplies where the soldiers need them. Avoiding obstacles will help the drone to avoid buildings in its path, and natural obstacles like trees or mountains. A reason why this drone would fly so low is because it would make it harder for enemies to pick up the drone on radars. Thank you for listening to my presentation. It would help me out a ton if you could hit the like button below.